Okay, in this video, we're going to be having a look at the Dash robots. And uh, with these ones today, we're going to be doing an activity which is, it's a lovely coding activity, but also a nice math activity um, that works well for younger or older students. Actually, we've done this with six year olds before, we've done something similar with sort of nine and 10 year olds. So we're going to create like a, a maze type activity where students have to uh, build a program that's going to guide uh, the Dash robot around the maze really from uh, the beginning to the end in, in one program. So um, when we're using the Dash robots, what we need to do first with these, um, obviously power them on. I hope it doesn't walk off the table. <laughs> And then we're going to launch the app. So the app that we're going to use for this is Blockly. And then you can tap in the corner at the top just to search for robots. Find them. So um, our robots all have a name underneath them. So this one's Dave. Um, so we are connected to Dave. Oops, I, I disconnected from Dave. Hang on. So let's connect. Whee! Okay, and then starting the app, we can see that there are a few different options here. What we want to do for this one is just to create a new blank project. Um, and then we've got our space here. Now, what we're going to do next, I'm going to cut away for a minute and we're going to come back uh, on the floor with um, a roll of tape and we're going to start building our maze. Okay, so where we're going to begin then, um, we're going to build out a maze just using tape um, on the floor here that we're hopefully going to guide our dash robot through. So let's put a starting line, I think, just here. And we'll move dash back to about there. So our uh, maze is going to hopefully take us from here and Dash is then going to go around here and he's going to finish up just here in our little finished space. Um, so when it comes to coding this, where the kids would begin, obviously when start um, is going to be this play button down in the bottom left corner. So what we would probably do to start with is just grab a forward and see how far that's going to take us so we can understand what 50 means, how far that's going to go. Okay, so we can look at that and we say, well, it's probably slightly more than halfway that we want to begin. So let me change that number up a little. Let's take it 80. Pretty good. Okay, so now we can look and this is where this becomes good if you're doing various different bits of angles work. Um, obviously, if you're doing this with younger students, I'd probably stick to like 90 degree turns because that's a relatively easy concept for younger ones to understand. But if you're doing this with older kids, absolutely, you could use all sorts of different angles um, to do this. So let's see, probably about that. taking some guesses here. Okay, let's take it to there. So that should take us over that side and see how we go. Yeah, I think a little too far there, yeah. That bit's all looking good. So our 70 here is too far. So let's bring that back down to a 50. Okay, let's put it back to the beginning and have another go. Looking great so far. So now he's facing that way. So we've got a long run now. That's probably a hundred or so. 
and then we've got a just a little bit left at the end so then a turn right and maybe a 30 okay bring him back to the start and see what we get Oh, a little short there, but not bad. And then a little long there. Hmm. I think we could probably tighten this up a little bit. Let's take the long one down to that. Take this one up a little bit. And which one was too long? That 50 was too long. And that 40. Okay. Let's have one more go. Pretty good. Um, so it's a nice activity. It's a good collaborative activity with groups of students working together, trying to work out um, the solution to get obviously all the way to the end in one go. I would definitely recommend doing it that way to have them problem solve and build up um, a program that's going to take them through the whole thing. And the nice thing is then they could rotate, they could have a go at somebody else's maze and they could then compare their solution to their maze to another one. Um, but a really nice simple activity that, that I think has some really good maths and some good coding stuff for the kids, uh, kids to do in it.